is how to remove and replace defective rivets. Well, I guess you can do ones that aren't defective too. The first step to removing a universal head rivet is to center punch the head. So there we are. I've got a divot on the center of the head and now I need to drill down through the center head of the rivet. The problem is, as I begin to drill down the center of the rivet, the drill bit will almost invariably skate one direction or the other direction. And I need to make absolutely certain that the drill bit stays on the center of that head. So I'm going to continuously look back and go, hmm, where am I compared to where I should be? I'm going to make sure that that drill bit is in, really in the center of the head of that rivet. The next thing that I need to do is I need to make sure I go the right depth with these with this drilling. If I go too deep, I'm going to start drilling into the base metal, and I don't want to drill into the base metal. I only want to drill through the head of the rivet. So I'm going to drill down into the rivet until I reach about the level of the base metal, and then I'm going to grab my center uh, or my pin punch, not quite down far enough because it wouldn't grab a hold of it. And I also feel like I'm still off to the side, so I'm going to push it back towards the center and then come down into the rivet and that should be good. Now I should be able to break the rivet off like this, break the head of the rivet off and this should all be the same width. Now I'm going to support my work over here and I'm going to tap the buck tail of the rivet out. And now I've removed my rivet. When I do this right, there is no damage to the base metal. The base metal is identical to what it was before.